I have to shave my toes. Hey guys, it's Trixie and not gonna lie, I'm nervous about making this video. I've had the idea for it in my head for over a year now, always lacking this last bit of courage to film it. But now I'm finally doing it because I really, really want to. Because I wish that somebody would have made a video like this when I was younger. Because I'm sad and angry and most of all, I'm tired. Tired of this fake image of the human body that we are confronted with on so many levels. Advertisement, television, social media. Let me tell you a secret. That's not what people look like. I remember how insecure I was about my body when I was a teenager. I thought something was wrong with me, that I was ugly and disgusting. Because of my dog ears, the shadows under my eyes, or the fact that there was hair on my lower back. I was blinded by famous people drowning in makeup, photoshopped models, or stupid commercials in which women were shaving completely hairless legs. I felt inferior that I was not enough. This mindset made me struggle with self-harm. It pushed me to the edge of anorexia. It made me sick. Until after a very long and hard time, luckily I came to realize this is all a lie. With this video, I want to try to help others like me. If people want to leave negative comments, go ahead. I know I can take it. So I'm gonna put myself out there and try to make a difference. I have a boyfriend that loves me and my body made to amazing children, so I am proud of it, no matter what. I will not delete any kind of comment about my appearance, because every single one of them reflects our society. But enough rambling. In this video, I want to show you me. No makeup, no filters, no secrets. Except for the fact that, obviously, I will not be entirely naked, because this isn't supposed to be porn. It's supposed to be an encouragement. The shadows under my eyes have always been the flaw that I struggled the most with. I thought they made me look old and sick and tired. But after all these years, I came to accept them as a part of me. The same applies to my jug ears. I still don't like wearing a ponytail because I prefer to hide them under my hair. And then there are the wrinkles all around my eyes. When I smile, I smile with my whole face, making them quite prominent. But that just means that I laugh a lot, so I'm okay with that. Next big topic hair. The only place where girls are supposed to have hair is on top of their heads, their eyelids and their eyebrows, right? Well, my hair is light brown, but I also have gray hair already. Yes, at the age of 27. All the women in my family struggle with it. Not much I can do about that. But to be honest, I kind of like this silvery shine that these hairs have. And if you don't pay close attention, you barely see them. Also, my hair is quite long. Well, except for strands like this one. Not only are they much shorter than the others, they also stick out like antenna, which can be very annoying. The reason for that is quite cute though. It's because of my baby daughter. She loves grabbing my hair and sometimes she pulls a bit too strongly and then I end up looking like a plucked chicken. My eyebrows. Let's talk about my eyebrows next. I have a confession to make. I don't care about eyebrows. I never trimmed them. I don't style them. I just accept them bushy and wild as they are. And so far, no one ever made a comment about them. Lots of precious lifetime saved. Now that's about it for the hair in my face head area. So let's move on to the kind of hair girls never talk about. I'm gonna be straightforward here and say, I have to shave my toes and my belly button. Yes, you heard right. Not only am I a hobbit, there's also hair growing right underneath my belly button. And even if I shave it, you can still see little dark spots under my extremely pale skin. I also have some fur-like hair on my lower back, which I don't shave, and on my arms, which I don't shave, and on my thighs, which I don't shave. Why am I not shaving them? Because ain't nobody got time for that. Lower legs, armpits, toes, belly button, and down there, that has to be enough. However, even though I shave these areas very thoroughly, it never looks like in commercials. My body hair is quite dark and thick, so it always shines through even if my skin is completely smooth. Seriously, I filmed all these clips right after taking a shower, freshly shaved. This is the best I can do. And what's most frustrating, if I shave in the morning, my skin is already stubby again in the evening. But you know what? I don't care. Now let's take a look at my body and skin. First of all, I'm quite small. 164 centimeters or 5 foot 4 to be precise. For such a long time, I wanted to be taller, at least a little bit. But you know, nowadays I find myself cute this way. 
and I wouldn't change my height if I could. I've always been naturally skinny, but that doesn't mean that my body doesn't have any chubby parts at all. My tummy is a bit chubby, for example. I could work out more to become more toned, I guess, but I don't really want to. Same thing with my legs. They are skinny, but at the same time soft and wiggly. I'm just not very muscular, and I think that's okay. Almost every person has some sort of cellulite or stretch marks, and so do I. For me, that's nothing that came with age. I already looked like that when I was 12, and there is no reason to be ashamed. It's normal. Also, whenever I go outside wearing shorts, there will be at least one bruise on my legs. Since I'm extremely clumsy by nature and I constantly bump into stuff. From bruises to scars, I have quite a lot of them. Some have a story. Others are just proof that I'm too stupid to shave my legs. Clumsy, remember? My feet are tiny a size 37 in Germany, and that should be a 7 in America. Funnily, my big toes, on the other hand, or should I say on the other foot, are huge and round. But yeah, whatever. Same as my feet, my hands are also pretty small. I've been ridiculed a lot for my stumpy fingers. Aren't girls supposed to have elegant and long fingers? Well, not me. And I guess that's part of the message of this video. We cannot have everything that's considered beautiful. Sometimes we have to say, well, not me, I'm out, I'm different. And we have to understand that this doesn't make us any less awesome. We are all unique and we shine the most when we love ourselves. In my opinion, true beauty is defined by your personality. Having a good heart is so much more important than having good looks. We all have different flaws. Maybe some of you will laugh about mine, saying that's nothing, you're lucky. But I still hope that by showing them to you, you may start feeling better about yours. Start to accept them, respect them and say, it's not a bug, it's a feature. If this video helps one person, it's already worth it. It breaks my heart that there are right now many people out there who are like I was, thinking that they are ugly or not enough because of their looks. I hope that they see this and maybe this changes their mind. And before you call me a hypocrite, yes, in most of my videos, I look like this. I like wearing makeup and I like to dress up, but I like myself this way and the other. And that's the crucial point. And no, I'm also not always entirely happy with my body. There are these days and those days, but most of the time, I like what I see when I look into the mirror. And I'm proud of my body. I feel that we have to remind each other that we are all people. And what I showed you in this video is what people look like. Your life is about who you are, what you do, which person you decide to be. It isn't pretty faces that make this world a better place. It's pretty souls.